Well, I got my 50 pound box of J-Mac clay. It's a medium grade uh, clay that I ordered from Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. I was uh, sitting at my computer doing some work and uh, I heard a big loud clump on my front porch and I thought, what the hell? I went outside and I guess the UPS guy was so tired after carrying this 50 pound box from his vehicle, he just dropped it on the porch and left. He didn't even knock on the door. I guess he figured the, the clump would alert me to the fact that I had uh, a delivery. But uh, what it does is they send it in uh, 10 pound blocks of clay, like this one here. What they do is they send these 10 pound blocks of clay, it's five of them, and uh, I have to set it up and get it uh, warming up. I finally can now start sculpting again because I ran out of clay and I finally was able to get some clay and uh, get started. Let me uh, put it up on, under the light to get it started warming up. It'll take probably, oh, several hours for this to warm up enough where I can cut it apart. So I place this uh, clay on top of the uh, container it'll go into and I put a 100 bulb watt light above it uh, to start softening it up. It'll uh, take a little while to do that and uh, and I will be working on this buffalo I think tomorrow. I've got another project I'm supposed to be doing too but I haven't gotten the okay yet on that and so until I do I'm going to go ahead and work on my buffalo here. I got some uh, correcting to do because uh, I just uh, see some things and anatomically that I might want to correct a little bit. Well, I've had the uh, clay softening for a while. Let's see if I can soften up to start cutting it. There we go. What I'm using to cut it with is a, I don't know what they call this. I got this at a cooking store or cooking supply store. It's, it's something they cut dough with, I think. It's got the, even a measuring uh, ruler right here, but I use it to cut the clay. Actually, I got something else, too. But uh, I don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, the clay is just a little hard yet. Break it off. Put that one back under the light. Something else that I got, it's a uh, drywall, uh, whatever they call it, and it works really well too. Let's see if I can cut it. Oh, yeah. Put it in the uh, container, which is nothing more than a storage bin or a, a uh, dish pan that uh, I can put the clay in and uh, you know soften it with the uh, light. This uh, clay is a lot easier to cut when you got it in a smaller piece. got it in a bigger one. And I try to cut it in well maybe half inch uh, pieces, half inch thick. It just it heats faster, it uh, is easier to uh, manipulate and to uh, form if you've got it uh, manageable like this. So 
take a look at the uh, instructional DVDs I've got uh, available online as well as on DVDs and uh, I've got nine I think nine available um, the link is uh, below I've corrected the the link, it was taking you to a blank page before, now it's not. And, uh, buy some of my instructional DVDs. I, it's what funds me, it's what keeps me going, and what make, makes it uh, possible to, to uh, buy supplies and things. And without that, uh, I will just disappear. <laughs> I'm a big guy, you don't... You don't disappear as a big guy real quick, easy. But uh, also uh, like and subscribe, as well as click the little bell uh, down there. That uh, will, if you subscribe with me, uh, it'll send my videos to you as soon as I put them up, so that you're never. Uh, left out seeing what I'm doing. I've been using NSP Soft by Chavant, but I've decided to uh, change back to my old clay JMAC uh, because it's, it has different qualities that I like that the NSP doesn't have. And there's nothing wrong with NSP, it's, it's a great clay. Chavant uh, has been in the business of making clay for, well, since the 1880s, I think. And so, you know, it's been used by professionals for well over a hundred years. But I've used JMAC for many years and Switched over to uh, Chavant uh, oh, a couple years ago. Now, since I got this all messy, I gotta clean off my cutting board. Use a little lighter fluid and a rag. It all comes up easy. It's going to be tough working on this buffalo because uh, it sat for, gosh, almost 10 years, I would think. It, it was sitting for a long time in my old studio. I can't imagine how many years ago I started this thing. I think I started in, I don't know if I started in clay or wax and then put clay on top of the wax, but... Uh, the oil has evaporated out of the clay, and so it's gotten hard. Normally, plastiline clay does not get hard, but uh, this clay has, and uh, fortunately for me, I had everything okay. I dropped it at some point, and... Uh, it, it, it's flattened that muscle out. I got a feeling I'm going to have to narrow the hips a little bit on this uh, buffalo. <sighs> I got some work to do. It's going to take some time. All right, everybody. Till next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.